Hello, this is Oatman, and welcome back to another episode of Oatman Solo Survival. This is episode number 16, I believe. Um, it's hard to believe, getting up there in episodes. Eh, it's not that much, though, because I do have 90 episodes of Oakenstone out at this point in time. Uh, the day after you see this, it will be 91. So we're getting there, getting to 100. That's an amazing journey and an amazing accomplishment. So, But right now, let's not talk about Oakenstone, let's talk about... Oh man, solo survival, because that is the uh, thing we're in playing right now. Uh, so I've got it. I had an idea, a dream, if you will, for what I want to do for the top of this tower with the whole eyeball situation. So let's take a look, and I'll show you what we're talking about here. This tower is amazing. You may be able to guess by what's on my hot bar <laughs> uh, with. Uh, what what's going to be or what I'm going to try to do here I'm going to attempt to make the eyeball with nether portals and redstone blocks that sounds weird it sounds really weird and we already have a ladder all the way up there okay fair enough now this is not going to be an easy task okay I have potatoes good I was gonna say do I not have any food okay so I brought a few blocks to experiment with and to test with so we're gonna test them and see what happens but I don't like the blocks I chose, however, we will take a look at some other options. I went and harvested 43 blocks of obsidian, I figured that would be plenty, a plentiful amount. So let's get rid of all this stuff here, because we don't need this at the moment anyway. Okay, and this is going to need to go too. So, yes, a little single player action for you today. It's going to be amazing. I love doing single player, as you guys know. I always rant and rave about how fantastic single player is all the time. Uh, but I don't do that often, but uh, I'm hoping to bring it to a more frequent uh, situation. So let's hope that happens, eh? Uh, soonly, though. Soonly. Maybe two to three times a week uh, is what I want to do for single player. So. Now my plan with this is a little strange. I want to go, let's go like, um, uh, this is weird. Okay, this is going to be odd. Two, three, four. This is going to be strange for sure. I want to make this I. Oh, no, 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 that's not right. This is not right at all. I already screwed it up. I do want it to be like this, though. Let me get my Silk Touch pick because it is more efficient than the one I have now. Uh, I wish I could get a good work pick that was fast, but I can't. So that's okay. Every work pick I've ever enchanted had only unbreaking, which is a sad story. Okay. So let me attempt this. Two, three. Let's go like that and then we can go like this hmm this attempt may be feeble but we will see this is what we want here something like this something of this nature and then we can use it to travel interdimensionally as well so it'll be kind of our nether nether hub thing somewhat what have you now that, you can't tell me that's not an acceptable port. There we go. Now this is what I wanted to try. Now you tell me if this looks good or not. Or should I do it like this? This looks pretty decent, I would think. I wish I had ender pearls, but I don't, unfortunately. Because this fits perfectly right here, and then I can surround this with the necessary uh, things that I need to do it with. So, this is probably going to be the base hub for our nether portals as well, so that's going to be, and it's not a nether hub by any means, so, because the nether hub is in the nether, generally speaking, anyway. Um, so how did this go? On this side it goes, this is how wide? Three wide. Three wide. So this goes like, Two, three, and then this goes one, two, three, four, five. Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we're gonna go 
one, two, three, four, five. And then this is all going to close itself out. One, two, three, four, five. And then it goes like this. Air blast. Confounded. Okay. So, one, two, three. Boom, boom. I think the granite looks good, and I want to incorporate some of these new stones into my builds because I haven't done much of that recently uh, with the recent builds that I've been doing, and it's 1.8. I've got to get with the times, you know. i got to get used to these new stones as a builder. That's something that we have to do and get used to and participate in. Should we leave the black? Or should we line it with... Quartz? Ooh. It's kind of a fitting or we could do something like this and just kind of blend it all in with the whole theme of things here now I've got to get down so I can see what this looks like oh dear okay all right so those are some nether portals the ideal situation is that that looks like an eyeball but I don't know how I how that's going to portray from down below so I do need to go acquire, I think I've got some nether brick left in here. Nope. Okay, I'm going to have to make another run to the fortress by the looks of things. But let's take a look at what we have here. I think that looks pretty sweet, man. i got to say. But we gotta got to look at it from a, the right angle. Like that, we're mostly going to see it, and that's going to be down from the village here. So let's go look at it from that perspective. Our village is starting to look mighty beautiful and gorgeous. I think we need, uh, well, I think we have just about everything we need here to survive. We can move on to more decorative sort of builds as opposed to functionality sort of builds. So that's kind of exciting. Now that looks pretty cool. We do need to come up with a, ow, that, did you hear that cracking? We do need to come up with a design to make that look a little more encumbered into the tower. But I think all in all, that looks pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know, Can you? how well can you see the purple from here? Pretty well. It looks like an eye, I think. I think that's a better attempt at an eyeball than I had before. So let's go poke around our houses here and our locations to see if we have any more nether brick. Look at all these chicken eggs that I got. I'm going to have to build a uh, chicken farm at some point. Oh man, look at all of them. It's crazy. I can make a cake. Get an achievement. Get an achievement for making a cake. This should be an achievement for taking the cake, man. Okay. All right. Man, look at all this. All these eggs. This is ridiculous. Okay. Jeez almighty. Okay. 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 This is enough. This is enough. This is enough. Okay. Lots of eggs. 16 eggs. That's plenty. That's enough to get a lot of chicken. That eye looks pretty sweet. Let's go look. I don't know if I have any more nether brick. It's really leggy up through this part of town. But let's take a look. Uh, nope. Nope. I'm going to have to burn some up, aren't I? Okay, not looking like I got any nether brick. I did harvest a whole poop ton, if you will, uh, when I harvested them originally, uh, but I don't think I have any more. We could check in the other place, but I doubt there's going to be any there. I think that looks pretty sweet. I want to have purple windows in the place as well, and I'm not entirely sure how practical that's going to be, but we're going to see. We're going to see. I would like to. In a, in a perfect ideal world situation, I'll take that. Hello. Is there any nether brick or nether brick accessories in here? Nope. Okay. Um, so let's cook up all the nether rack we have. And then we can get some nether brick out of that. And hopefully we'll, get a, we'll be able to get enough to uh, sustain what we need to do. So, okay. I do want to... I need blue and red dye. I think I've got the red covered. And I'm pretty sure I've got the blue covered as well. So... I can make the purple glass. The question is, is do I have an overabundance of glass? And uh, yeah, let's take another stack of that. There we go. Okay. So, boom. Uh, okay. Looking pretty sweet. A sweet. So let me look if I can find some bone meal. I don't think I'm gonna need a stack. Oh, there. Look at this. Uh, da, 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 da. We need to find some regular glass too. In a perfect world, we would have some. There's a little, little bit. Ah, man, my neck is really crickety today. Okay, so let's take a peek. And no, a regular glass blocks. 
I wish you could just dye the panes, man. I got painted all over. I may have some glass up in here. No, 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 no. Okay. So it looks like I'm going to have to do some good old off camera working and get back to business here. Let's just. Yeah. Let's just use all our bone meal on this. Okay, let's just. Yeah, let's just waste it all. Perfect. 38. It's going to bring us to that many. So many. Let's make lots of purple dye. So now we have more purple dye than we know what to do with. Now all we need is the glass. I think I need to run to the a desert and acquire some. I do actually have another portal hook up to that. So we all can I can show you all that as well, I guess, while we're here. I'm going to need this. So I'll give me that. Man, the storage system is amazing. Okay. I want that. I don't necessarily need that. Uh, I do want this. I don't need this. <clears throat> I do need this. I do need this. I don't need this, per se. Um, I don't really need that. I need one of those. And I'm going to go smelt up some uh, goodies up through here. But first, I think we need to get some coal. So let's go get some coal. Okay, I'm so glad we moved into a bigger house. It's so much nicer than living in a little tiny shack that was this. So, much nicer, for sure. So, uh, right now... Ooh, look, hello, pig. Um, we're going to go for a... We're going to go get some coal, and then we're going to smelt up some glass that we find. We do want to smelt up this nether brick as well. That's on the agenda as well. So, go down this beautiful staircase that I created. And then we will find some coal. There's bound to be some coal up through here somewhere. Oh, the mines. The place where all the ideas come to life. Most of the ideas come from a mine shaft. If you don't watch B double O, you won't understand. Um, ooh, do I have food on my bar? I do. Now this is, what is this on my... Okay. Coal. There's got coal. Look at there. All I have to do is say the name. And it will come to me. Beautiful thing. And I should have the baby on me. I'm breaking three. Yeah, we go. This fortune pick has been a lifesaver as far as getting diamonds and re valued resources up through this single player world. The fortune pick is amazing as well. One of the best inventions in Minecraft history, if you ask me. Uh, well, not inventions, but implementations anyway. So, and there we go. Looky there. 29 coal instantaneous. Let's go grab this coal too, because we're always running out of coal. So let's dig it. I can dig it. I can dig it. Ouch. Okay. It's all reappearing. Great. This I can't be chopped up a server lag either. I don't know what's up with this, but it's happened from the last season as well. So, yeah, there is that. Okay, digging, digging, digging. How much coal do I have? 56. That's probably plenty, unless I happen to stumble upon another vein. Ah, perfect. I can never have too much coal. We'll say this information. So, and dig it, dig it, dig it. Up through here. That's what we want. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Up through here. That sounds like an Ellie Beatmaker remix that could be waiting to happen. Get on it, Ellie. Kidding. Just kidding. Okay, so enough coal here to get me through a lifetime, I think. If it will ever register into getting into my ears. There we go. Perfect. Stack and a half ish. So let's go back through here and then we'll get some. Uh, there I just walked by some other coal and that killed me to do so. But I'm not going. I'm going to ignore it for the sake of video footage content. You guys are already probably bored of seeing me mine coal. So let's go back. Uppity uppity up. And then we can cook all this nether wreck and then we can uh, make. Make our nether brick. That's what I was. That's the words I'm after. Okay. So. The reason I sound a little groggy is because it's midnight right now. I may record some Five Nights at Freddy's after this as well, so do not blame me if I'm a little bit uh, distraught and disgusted and appalled, if you will. So, okay. You there, furnaces. I would like to... That'll be good enough, I think. Okay, go. Let's fuel this up like that. And you, I don't really need. Let's just cook up all kinds of nether rack here. Perfect. 
and the sand and this garbage I don't really need. So I'm going to show you guys my little tunnel I have to the desert. And if you guys remember, in an earlier episode of this, uh, we went on an adventure to uh, to the desert with a little village there. I now have another portal hook up to it. Look at this place. It's starting to look really sweet. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Mm -hmm. So, we will see what we can do. I also have to get some netherrack, actually, for my project here. Whoa, a bat. If this was uh, Broken Stone, I would kill you to get your morph, but I already have a morph on Broken Stone. He's just sitting here. Bats out of hell. Okay. So let's go through here and obtain some, or go to our tunnel. And I'll, Through this tunnel, you'll get to um, the desert, and I'll show you that. It's not that far. Well, it might be a little far, but it won't be far enough for me to have to cut it, I don't think. So... But yes, I do have nether tunnels, <laughs> kind of, going up through these places. I don't go far in this world, but not recently anyway. But when I do, and I find a place of now, I need to get a portal to the jungle as well, because I want to do some stuff in the jungle in the future. Okay, hello, Pidgeman. Hello, baked potato. Yes, I, you remember that village I restored and built a little apartment building for, and uh, what else did I do? I fenced it all in and everything for like an entire episode. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one I'm talking about. This is the one right here. This is a scary drop, so don't fall off, Oatman. Okay. So through the portal we go. If you keep hearing a cracking noise, it's my neck. Um, so do not adjust your headset. Ta da! On top of the blacksmith building in the savannah. With some beautiful, healthy villagers around here somewhere. This may be completely ghost town. Like this really crappy apartment building. Motel. Is there any villagers left in here? Please tell me for the love of God that there is. There's a villager. He's picking some wheat. A little morning wheat. They probably all head inside for uh, for the night time that's approaching here. Nobody's in there. There's a villager. Hello. This is the place I stayed in with Buffalo back in the day. This place has been dedicated to Buffalo. Is there anything good in here? Not really. There's some sand. I like that. Uh, okay. Well, I feel like we should go get some more sand. <laughs> okay. So hopefully they're not going to get attacked by zombies and horrible, mean evil monsters that want to eat them. I think I did a pretty good job of perimeterize, perimeteri perimeterializing it. Oh, what's going on here? Yeah, I think I did a good job of perimeterializing it, if that's a word that you guys want to use. Uh, gosh. Okay. Uh, as well as lighting it up to prevent mobs from spawning within their boundaries. Gosh, it's being really weird here today. Come on. You know, there's a desert temple that I never fully explored either. Maybe I'll do that in the next episode. Uh, but this episode, we got work to do on the wizardly tower. The desert temple is not in this desert either, fun fact. But I'm glad I have a village. Jeez, man, what is up with the frame job today? Okay, so now I'm here to get sand, and only get sand. That's what I'm here for. So please, step off. Disgusting evil creatures. Or as Durandal likes to say, bad guys. So, okay. So let's just get a bunch of sand. Zip. Alright, how much sand do we have? A lot. We started with two stacks because of the uh, beautiful villagers that... Or no, my beautiful past me. She thanks past me for thinking and looking out for me. But this is a good sand plateau. This is where I've been getting most of my sand um, for most of the builds around here. Between that and, and the river. Uh, but, yeah, there's that dude. Come on, you stupid spider. Get Minecraft. There we go. So, yeah. Been very busy. Uh, I've been beginning con or work on another secret project um, that a lot of even the Oak and Stoners don't know about. So, well, I've got some other, I've got some projects here and there. Um, I've got to remember most of them because I didn't exactly write them down. <laughs> like I probably should have. But I do have plans and projects for things I need to do in the future. As well as I need to finish the uh, Castle Crashers game giveaway because I have had people that have commented on it and there's nobody else commenting. So I may give it one more week um, if you're watching this and you commented. Uh, I.E. Elbow and the other guy. What was the other guy's name? I feel bad now. Uh, I'll give it one more week. 
uh, and if nobody else comments, then I will give a copy to each of you. Um, so, Elbow will get a copy if nobody comments within a week. And the other guy, I forget his name, I've, I'm so bad, I'm so sorry about forgetting your name, man, but if you're watching this video, that is, uh, but, yes, you will get a, you will get a copy, uh, but you know who you are, you know who you are, you're one in, one of two commenters, uh, on the Cast Crashers video, so if you haven't watched it and you want the game, then go watch it, go watch it indeed, so, I think I've got enough sand now. This is a beautiful place, man. I like this place. It's cool. I feel like we should build out here someday. I wish I could find a Savannah M biome, because that would be cool. A little steampunk village, maybe. The mountainy biomes, such as Amplified and whatnot, really lend themselves to a steampunky sort of feel. And I've really been kind of wanting to build that style recently. Um, and I'm kind of implementing a little bit with the uh, Victorian house I'm doing on Broken Stone. But not, not to the point. It's still got to be Victorian style and not steampunk style. So obviously it's gonna be, it's gonna be that. I feel really bad because this episode was mostly resource gathering and talking, but you know, yeah. Mhm. Mm I'm getting a broken stone. I'm uploading a broken stone right now, and it's coming out super, super late, and I feel really bad. So when you wake up in the morning and you watch this, or this morning, you should have a, you should have watched a broken stone before you came and watched this, unless you don't like the modded, in which case, here's fine too. So, I always give uh, big support and props to people who support my single player, because without you guys, I wouldn't I wouldn't really do it. Uh, not the single player. Um, I have thought a few times about stopping the single player, but recently you guys have been showing quite a bit of support on it, and a lot of views. I mean, more, it's not quite to the caliber of the Elkinstone episodes and all that stuff, but it's still, uh, it's good for single player, I would think, so. And nobody likes watching single player Minecraft. I mean, certain people do. I really like watching single player Minecraft. A lot of times I like it more than uh, the multiplayer aspect. But it's, uh, it's a, it's a personal preference, really. Uh, like, there's times when I would rather watch B Building with B-double-O than B-dubs' Minecraft. Um, but he hasn't done Building with B-double-O recently, so that makes me sad. But I will watch both, and I will support both series, because I like both series. And, and I expect you guys to do the same. I mean, some of you, of course. Um, but... There's been times when I've thought of quitting Oh Man Solo Survival, but uh, it's my standby series and I can't quit it. It is my main, not necessarily my main series, but it is the, it is one of the few series that I don't think I can ever cancel no matter how many views it gets. Okay, now I'm getting weird lag, so this is bizarre. There we go. Um, yeah. It's one of the series that I just cannot quit, and I gotta keep doing no matter what, because it is the first series on my channel, and if I quit it, I feel like it would be no different than everybody else who uh, does a single player, they join a multiplayer server, and then they just stop their single player, which I never really liked those kind of people, though we do have some of those on Oka's Zone, I'm not gonna complain, so, oh my gosh, do I really have to break this door down? Come on. Come on now. Okay, fine. I'll go in another door. I'll go in another door. How do you feel about that? That eye looks pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Oh, I can't go in another door. Freaking fantastic. Mmm. Busting it down. Don't even care. Come on, give me that back. Give me that. Okay. This needs to be a stack of sand. Aha! Suck it. I got it. Dang it. Dang it, crap. Okay. Come on. Come on! Why won't this thing help me? Why is things not doing the things they're supposed to be doing things? Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know what kind of lag I'm getting, but I ain't lagging it. Oh, gosh! That is not a good thing to have on my hopper. Burn down my house. Why? Oh. Some shifty glitch. Okay. Get it? Shifty glitch. There's a glitch with me shifting. Nah. Okay. Whatever. It wasn't funny anyway. Uh, okay. And you need seven. Thank you. And a boom. And you need seven. Thank you. And a boom. So now I've got all the things cooking. Hopefully, 
I want to go up and do a design before we finish the episode here because it is running long and I feel really bad about not really doing anything this episode. So let's go up there and do a little bit of a design around the uh, around the eye. Really, this door is going to do this to me now. Let's go do a little bit of a design around the eyeball and then we can call it quits for today. I do want to frame it out a bit, a little bit as well. So put some spots for the nether portal and all that. Uh, I think we can build the main thing of it um, recent or soonly so um, there's that as well look at this beautiful beautiful place now there's going to be a lot more to this tower um, I told you it's gonna probably take a couple episodes uh, and this is episode 2 on the tower <laughs> so and it'll, it's still not done obviously and it'll probably be not done by the next episode either I'd like to work on it with you guys uh, but I've got some other projects and ideas in mind as well so hopefully We'll be able to get to those as well. I don't want to bore you guys with the same build over and over again, but I like it. It's cool. So, um, I do want to have, like, a cool thing. You, you've probably seen it on uh, a build of mine in the past, uh, i.e. the castle wizard tower that I have. I am kind of influencing that tower a little bit, because that tower is not done on the Oakenstone server yet. Um, I have built most of it, but not all of it. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and then this goes one, two, three, four, five. And then boom. Okay. Two, three. Ah, beautiful, beautiful snow. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Ouch. So we do want to build the frame of this before we get going too much here. Okay. Give a little place for the nether portal. And then we want to go... Do we have the quartz? I believe we do. Uh, boom, a boom, and then a boom, boom, boom. I like that. So, uh, we want to do that for the next one. And then we want to do that... Okay. Yeah. We want to do this for the next one, and then we can... Um, one, two, three, four, five... And then we can begin the uh, construction around it. Around it. That's right. Hmm? Oh gosh. One, two, three, four, five. I am the cow. One, two, three, four. Okay. And of course I'm lagging, so it hasn't registered yet. But okay. Okay. So now we have a decent idea of what we want to do with this situation. Uh, however, we've got to tie up a little bit. Oh, that's ladder joint. Right in there. There we go. That's what I wanted. No, that isn't what I wanted, as a matter of fact. That's what I wanted. Boom. Uh. Hmm. This is interesting. One, two, three. That's what I'm after. Okay. And then, I don't know if we're going to have enough time to experiment and play a little bit here. Gosh. Okay. Boom, a boom, 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 boom. Now we get to try how we get to play around with this a little bit but we're gonna have to do that this is a battle block theater style uh... segue to the end of the episode as well as i guess starbound as well so there's that let's let's just get get a little bit of a floor scaffolding thing going here um, this is gonna look pretty sweet i think so there we go is this the... no yes it is Okay. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you didn't, don't leave a dislike because it's mean. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Oatman's Old Survival next week. Joining you again with your host, Oatman5000. So, goodbye. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.